Hey there, it's Dustin with Brand Personalization. Welcome to the day one of the video marketing training course. Uh, basically, in this episode, what we're going to be doing is going through the initial setup of a YouTube account, and I'll go ahead and give you some tips and tricks along the way. Now, if you already have a YouTube account, you may still want to watch this video entirely just to see if there's any steps that maybe you overlooked. Um, also, you know, when we get into like getting the descriptions right and things like this, um, you have character counts that you need to take into consideration because even though you see you know how things look on YouTube, um, you need to take into account you know the way things are going to look whenever links or videos are shared on other sites, um, especially like YouTube things like this. So let's head over to Facebook and we'll start out the. Um, setup process okay now if you already have a, a Google account this is the screen that you're going to see whenever um, you go to set up YouTube basically you know if you set up just the email address you're still going to have to you know name your channel and select your username now always like to use upper and lowercase sometimes people use only lowercase sometimes people use only uppercase which I definitely don't recommend um, in this case you know you can see that we're using both I've went ahead and filled out the initial you know information and then from here we'll proceed um, one thing I'll mention while we're on this page, though, um, where it says check availability, you always want to make sure to uh, um, you know, select this to make sure that your username is available. Okay, now on this screen, it's basically user preference. Um, you know, select or unselect whatever you would like, and then from there, just click all done, and then you're ready to go. Okay, now when you first get to you know, the channel, it's going to be completely blank. So I'm going to guide you through, you know, getting everything filled in, and then get it presentable, so that way we can start you know reaching out to other community members and get some fans on this thing so the first thing we'll do is go over to your settings now there's not much that I do in this area even though you can you know, fill in your information here, always do it directly on the channel. That way you can see exactly how everything is going to look um, you know, whenever someone else looks at your page. If you go ahead and fill things out directly into the account settings, then you end up needing to you know, do a lot of editing. So first and foremost, what we're going to do is change out the profile picture. Okay, from right here, you know, there's really not much else to do. Um, you may want to go ahead and change your email settings. If you leave everything selected, you're going to end up getting a whole lot of mail. Um, pretty much the only time that I leave anything selected is if it's an account that I'm not going to be on that much, or if I'm managing for a client. You know, always make sure that I have a backup. You know, sent to um a forwarding account so that way you know if we get you know comments or anything like that that you know we need to reply back to real soon you know I'll go ahead and have an email sent that way but if I'm actively monitoring an account 
which if you're going to be an active member of the community, you should be anyway, then it's safe to just go ahead and uncheck all these. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the activity sharing so that way you know you can you know share everything over on Facebook, Twitter, you know whatever network that you're on. So from here just simply you know connect the accounts that you want to you know share everything and the check boxes here you know basically you decide you know how much or how little do you want to share do you want people to see every time that you like a video or you know do you only want to you know share when you upload you know things like that so that's one of those things it's just personal preference um, one thing I will say is the more that you do on YouTube that is shared to other networks the more it's going to drive people back you know to uh, your videos or your channel Okay, the reason I didn't do anything as far as, you know, setting up social is because I have a main account that this account is going to be linked to. So, basically, you know, whenever I upload a video on this account, it's going to be, you know, either favorited or, you know, put into a playlist or something like that from the main account. So, whenever I do something from the main account, it's automatically going to share to everyone. If I would go ahead and link accounts, you know, from a secondary account, then basically people on the other networks are going to be spammed every time that I do stuff and I want to make sure that everyone has you know a good user experience and I want to be responsible with it so you know even though you know it may sound you know nice to you know, get some double exposure you know, it's definitely not recommended it's going to turn people off and um, not a good thing Okay, so f first you want to um, you know, fill out the information here entirely. So just click on edit. Actually, I think I have a swipe file that I can you know, fill all this in real quick. Um, one thing I'll go ahead and mention is, um, you know, whenever you're putting in your channel description or about me, things like that, um, you want to keep in mind, you know, what's going to be shared. Like the channel description, the first 87 characters are going to um, show up, you know, whenever your channels are linked. So if you go beyond that, it's going to be truncated. So I try to stay right at 87 or you know, maybe a little bit less. Okay, now when I'm doing the channel description, you'll notice that I make sure that the top sentence is, you know, 87 characters or less, and you'll see more about that in later videos.
Okay, anything that I'm not going to use, I'll just go ahead and, you know, uncheck those. Um, usually if you don't have anything in there, it's not going to show anyway. I just don't like to confuse myself. Okay, so this is going to be, you know, basic, you know, setup. Um, you know, this area right here is what I was mentioning, um, you know, for what's going to show up in the channels. And then you can add some special characters and, you know, ask people to subscribe, stuff like that. Okay, since this is a new account, you know, I still have the 15 minute limit, so I'm trying to keep everything as short as possible. Okay, next you want to come over to themes and edit it. Now whenever you put up a picture, if it's not going to fill up the whole background, you want to click on repeat background. And there you go. We have a nice little channel set up here. And if you're you know, following the course, then you can see exactly what I do as I do it. And if I have enough time left, I'll go ahead and put a video up on here too. If not, it'll be put up right after. Okay, I'll try to make it in there in time. To save you a little bit of time, um, you, know, you can go ahead and you know, name your video file, so that way that's already going to fill in, and then just fill in the description, tag it, and everything. Um, I'll shoot another video you know, on how to you know, properly SEO your um, videos that you upload. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the channel, and I'll make sure to you know, take care of it. And um, you. Know, I believe the next video tomorrow is going to be, you know, how to you know, send out messages, reach out to people, and you know, get them on there. So, till next time, this is Dustin Sammons with Brand Personalization Radio.